In this video, we're going to look at how we can delete our DynamoDB table from AWS. If you haven't already seen parts 1 to 4 of the AWS DynamoDB series, you can find the links in the description below. They covered creating a DynamoDB client, then creating a table, followed by adding, getting, and updating items for our table. So we're going to start off and create our controller. This is going to be an HTTP delete. Going to add our route. And our route's just going to be delete. Now let's add our method. Going to have a sync task with a return type of I action result. And we're also going to pass in a parameter from query table name. And this is going to be the name of the table that we want to delete. So bar response. It was wait. And we are shortly going to create a delete table interface in class, but we don't have that at the moment, so this will be red, but it's okay. And we'll call off to uh, execute table delete table name and we'll return an OK with the response. Let's declare these at the top here. And we'll initialize it in the constructor. Great, now let's create our interface and classes. I'm going to use um, some key keyboard shortcuts here. I'll explain what I'm doing as, I, as I'm using them. So Alt Insert um, brings me up this list here. So I'm going to say uh, interface, and we're going to call that I, delete table. Alt Insert again, and say class that delete table just speeds down development along using keyboard shortcuts i'm hesitant at showing them sometimes because uh, i don't want to you lose people in these videos uh, let's inherit from the i delete table okay so before we forget let's um initialize those in our setup file Services. Excellent. Heading back to our delete table class. Let's call and bring in the uh, the Dynamo client that we're going to use. And we'll initialize that in the constructor. Now let's start creating the method that's going to actually delete the table. There isn't too much to this, it, it's pretty short. Um, so let's have a look. So task. We're going to be we're going to return a delete table response back. And we're going to call the method name execute table delete. Pass in the table name as the parameter. Okay, so we're going to build up the request. The request is really short, uh, unlike some of our other get items and put items. All that's going to take into this is the table name. So table name equals what our parameter was. Variable response equals wait time my client dot uh, delete table sync looks good and request right let's return there brackets uh, right what's happening here. Uh, 
Whoops, I have delete item requests. I don't want that. I want delete table requests. Again, I don't want to cut out these uh, kind of pieces because I want to show you like, you know, things do go wrong, uh, how we're investigating. So I was just reading the error message there and I could see that we didn't have the correct, um, we weren't building up the correct request. Okay, and let's add our public method to our interface that we have here. Again, I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to um, highlight my cursor on the delete table here. I'm going to say Control Shift R. This is resharper, and say pull members up. Select publics next. Let's jump in here, and there it is. There. Now, of course, you don't need to use resharper. You don't need to use uh, shortcuts. You could have just um, grabbed what the public method was on our delete table class and put it in here. So again, save and build that. Okay, so let's run our application. And while that's starting up, let's head along to our AWS console. Now we're going to delete this testing DB table. So here it is at the moment. Our application's running. Head along to Postman, or any favorite client that you want to use. Localhost API, the delete. You need to make sure that this is set to delete as well, because that's what we put our verb as. And testing table. So let's click send. And excellent, we've got a 200 OK. We see the results uh, come back in here. Let's head back to our DynamoDB table. And as you can see, it's spinning, which now it's gone. So that spinning was um, just in the process of actually deleting it. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please remember to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with all my latest YouTube tutorials.